I am the Disney Remake of Throne 2000. Step 1. Insert information slip into my slot. Disney is just remaking all of their cartoons, which is, I guess, whatever. They own them. They can do whatever they want. I haven't really cared up to this point. They were remaking Disney princess movies like Cinderella. And then they announced they were going to remake The Lion King. Lions kill infants they don't know. It is crucial they recognize these cubs as nephews and nieces, or even as their own offspring. Aladdin? Well, I'm on the job, you big nabob. You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. At first, I thought it was like a fake trailer. I, I was like, oh, that was pretty cool that they managed to, like, make a fake Aladdin trailer. Did, like, Corridor Digital work on this? How'd they get Will Smith? I guess he's a YouTuber now. I, but I thought it was, like, just a fake thing. But then it came out in theaters, and it's now one of the highest grossing movies of the year, maybe of all time. So without further ado, let us enjoy Disney's Aladdin live action. I'm on my way, on my way to spend the day and night. Come on! It is my father, the Emperor! You must hide! Oh, it's gonna be one of those, huh? Okay. Let's see how it is. So this is in China. That's the first big difference Disney wanted to make. My name is Aladdin. Your name is Aladdin? Yes. My name is Mei Ling. The princess of all China. See, because they didn't just want to do the same thing again. I am a genie. A good genie, not a meanie. The songs are actually just fucking terrible. Tea time, tea time, tea for you and me. They put like no thought into them. A good genie, not a meanie. A good genie, oh, not shit. a. I am Dancing Doll of Fame, and Fatima is my name. <laughs> home in the wink of an eye. We'll be home in the wink of an eye. We'll be home in the wink of an eye. It's a very, 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 very lovely morning in China. It's a very, very, very lovely morning in China. Bob Iger and Guy Ritchie, the director, saw movies like Ida and First Reformed and The Lighthouse, and they were like, a four by three aspect ratio would really work best for this live action remake of Aladdin. All right, let's cut the crap. You guys want to see the good Aladdin. Not that, no, 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 not that one. If I was gonna to talk to myself, I could've just stayed in the lamp. Uh, uh, Hello! I'm and I decided to get the film from the Disney remake of Tron or whatever the hell. Disney remake of Tron 2000. If you wanna make it live action, okay. Can it at least be well shot? Can the characters at least be interesting and stand on their own and not have to rely on you knowing them from previous movies to be interesting? Can you get real animals? Abu, no! Can you not get Will Smith? So I understand this film is made for children. Why shouldn't children be able to enjoy it? If they want to enjoy the new Aladdin 2019, then let them. I don't care. This is not, that's not the point of this video. I just want to laugh at how bad the movie is. It's a brand new star, oh, come be the first on your block. And how Disney is like peddling out these garbage movies like Aladdin, and then they make tons of money. Well, uh, wow. It's like a computer program wrote, directed, edited, and acted in this movie. It's beginning to set a trend that I don't like. I am disappointed in the lack of quality in this film. On an objective level, there is so much I think that is technically wrong with this movie. Like, why is this studio pumping out movies like this over and over? My issue isn't really with the cast or any of the people involved. 
because they're just slaves to a system that discourages them from doing anything creative. And so I think there's a lot of good intent that's lost in translation. The idea of this film, of just remaking a cartoon in live action, when really it doesn't work, is so uninspired. When we should be pushing for more original ideas, Try a different tack, guys. you want to take your kids to the movies, you know Aladdin, they probably haven't seen the original Aladdin. If they did, they'd probably enjoy it. So why wouldn't parents go see that with their kids? It's sure to be a box office hit. It's got Will Smith in it. But is it too much to expect something a little bit more from a company that put $200 million into this movie? All of the changes that were made do not enhance the story in any way. Every change is about the same in quality or worse. The 2D animation is far more visually interesting than this 3D animated monstrosity. The acting is very bland. The costumes are just bad. It has no pacing, like everything is so bland. This is how Aladdin is introduced in the film. Right there. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be fucking looking at. Oh look, I got a good review. A classic is born. Exclamation point. A classic is born. ABC TV. Oh, you know what company owns ABC? Oh yeah. This boat has seen us through many a storm. Is he trying to do an accent? Are the children learning something, dear? It is unclear. Was that supposed to rhyme? That's unclear. I don't know, I hit a deer. Let me drink a beer! Oh, imagine a land. It's a faraway place. Oh my where god. The caravan camels roam. It sounds so auto-tuned. Arabian night. Well, Smith is the only one who can sell this film. Just auto-tune his voice. And take a look at this great choreography. When the wind's from the east and the sun's from the west. The wind's from the east and the sun's from the west. Winds from the east and the sun's from the west. CGI, yawn. Look at me. You can do this. Look at me. You can do this. Okay, I've given up at this point. If Disney doesn't care, then I don't care. I should have broken this out when I was watching Sallow. Mmm. One swing, ahead of the sword. Sword, sword. Like, what is this outfit? So this is her friend. If you had to marry a useless prince, you could certainly do worse than this one. And she becomes the love interest for Will Smith's genie. Could you excuse me one moment? Wait, I just... <laughs> totally pointless character. Just fills up time. How pleasant I am. Even though this film had a large budget, it looks very cheap. The lighting, especially at night when they're in the desert, this looks terrible. Excuse me, boy, where's your boss? Help me out here, where's your boss? No! A thousand years. Kid, is it me, or does like everything surprise you? So, you really don't know who I am. Did they just add that in after? Yeah, here we go. This is when it gets good. Baba, he had them 40 thieves. You have a he had a thousand tails. Yeah, there's a skill to making something like this. But there's a point where it's just too much. It's just obnoxious and it hurts my eyes and I want it to end. Don't go, somebody cool me down. Somebody put me out. I'm too much. And it's not as entertaining to watch as the original cartoon. What's the point of remaking films that already exist? <laughs> it's all we do now. It's... It's really sad. It's really sad that this is what does well. You ain't never had a friend like me! Lion cubs start by avoiding the pride. Some of them I noticed just from watching the trailer that, like that one, what's it called? Like that one, I didn't see it because it looked boring, but it looked like really well done. In terms of the cinematography and the look of it, it looked like a professional big budget film. And this film looks very cheap. Eventually, you are going to have to tell her the truth. Tell the truth. Going back 
to the whole it's made for children thing. I get the simplicity of the story it is something children would like. I get color and like fun. I think it's trying to be fun. It's like manufactured fake fun. Let's look at demos of who's gonna see Aladdin and what do most of these people find entertaining? Okay, well, 75% of them like musical numbers. The costumes look like they're out of Party City. Your advisor's not who he says he is. Oh. Will Smith's head doesn't feel like it's part of his body. You can see like the edges of his face where the face is cut off and the CGI body starts. The lion, the monkey, and the parrot are all CGI, even though you could have just gotten real animals to play those. It's over two hours long. Oh, Aladdin, the original, so, so short. There's not a sliver of fat to be trimmed for that movie. Everything's perfect. The musical numbers are great. And then you get to the musical numbers in this, and it's like... Oh. They also added extra songs, because Jasmine didn't do enough in the story. Try to shut me and cut me wow. <laughs> yeah, that really, really hits home. And then immediately after that, she realizes it's a dream. She serves the same function of the story at the end of the film. She just gets captured, whatever. Just cause the camera is doing a 360 around the characters and she has like teary eyes and she's yelling, doesn't mean the scene is dramatic. Guys, my pal Will Smith is here. What's up, Will Smith? That's not the point of the story. This movie is about Aladdin and his journey, and he gets totally undermined by the rest of these characters. These other characters that overshadow him are just supporting characters from Aladdin, so they don't actually have much more to contribute to the story. All of the important stuff, the stuff you know, and the stuff they want to capitalize on so they can make more money, it's all there even if it doesn't make any sense for the story, even if it doesn't make any sense, because that's what's marketable, and that's all that matters. Now let's get to Will Smith. He plays the genie that was originally played by Robin Williams, who was so fantastic he would improvise in the studio, and they used that stuff. They animated around his improv. It's one of the most memorable parts of the film. And now we got Will Smith. But he's another guy. He's like focus tested, manufactured in a lab. <laughs> like his image is just, oh, it's clean and perfect. He's only in the, the best family films. And he owned the 4th of July for like a decade or two. Every 4th of July, there'd be like a Will Smith movie where he's an action hero. He's flying a plane, fighting aliens, or he's a superhero. And he was also in those feel good Christmas films like Collateral Beauty kind of movie you see around the holidays or around Oscar season, you're like, wow, that was really profound and intimate. And Will Smith really made me realize that I needed just hope and love in my life. And instead of trying to do his own thing, he's trying to do the same thing of Robin Williams did. They try to do the whole Will Smith is talking and they animate around his improv instead of just having the genie in this film do something totally different. Why does he need to be this blue thing? Is it because it looks familiar? You'd rather lie to somebody you love than give all of this up. You don't get it, Genie. That makes it very difficult for me to take any of this seriously. 10,000 years, I have never once, ever, called a master a friend. Look at this transition. My salt. Our enemies grow stronger every day. So the first act of this film is just kind of dull. It goes on for way too long because there's unnecessary characters. The staging is so boring. Oh, they're talking in an office. And that's because this is shot for efficiency. It's because they just got coverage of everything. And then they use every angle. No wonder kids don't want to go see movies anymore. The only time anything creative is done with the cinematography is when it's CGI, and where they aren't limited by the space they're in. <laughs> Jafar and that parrot are easily two of the best parts of the original Aladdin. The parrot character is basically absent in this film. 
And the actor who plays Jafar, Marwan Kanzari, if I'm saying that correctly, plays this new version of Jafar. And he tries to do something a little bit different. The most suitable punishment would be to make you watch while I take what you- And Jafar is fantastic, but I can imagine in live action the puns would get a little annoying. Don't toy with me! Yeah, got him there. Things are unraveling fast now, boy! Get it? Because it's a carpet? I'm just getting warmed up! Oh, shit. Aha, princess! Your time is up! Hello, damn. Get the point! <laughs> Alright, maybe. That one wasn't so good. It's okay, though. The issue with this new version of Jafar is that there's just no way to feel about him. He's just as bland as the rest of the film. There's nothing memorable about this performance. And then when he suddenly has to make this third act shift into being this really evil guy, giving these over-the-top monologues about how he's evil and he wants all this power, well, you don't buy it at all, because you don't buy this character. I can destroy cities. He doesn't even look like a bad guy. He looks like a nice guy. Get a drink with this dude. This is the guy who's gonna play Jafar? Like, he's not intimidating at all. Princess. I'd rather watch Captain Whack and his parrot. Now I gotta feed my coke-addicted parrot. Yeah, yeah, set him up. Give him some of this shit right here. Mm. Who makes a living doing dolphin tours in the Keys? If I wasn't fucking doing dolphin tours, man, I wouldn't have all This is all from dolphin tours. At the end, it becomes a big CGI explosion sparkle fest. So, wow, a giant CGI parrot chasing someone. Pirates, you're coming with me! Explosions and craziness, and then you get a big musical number. It, but it feels like you're watching a stage attraction at Disney. There's no heart. The whole new world number in this film. I can open your eyes over sideways and under. I fucking hate it. The original one is so magical. I love the use of color and. It is but I feel like this scene should have taken place at like sunset. You get like a beautiful horizon, lots of oranges and purples, but no, it's at night, and so everything's all blue and ugly. Okay, maybe I'm taking this film too seriously. Ralph, you're just supposed to sit back and relax and watch Blue Will Smith do a little musical number with a monkey. Okay, fine. This film really isn't that fun or entertaining. When it's not just bland scenes of people talking in a room that are shot for efficiency and not to be visually interesting. Wide shot, two mediums, all right. Close up, okay, good. Next scene. But also this film is trying to take itself so seriously with like these dramatic scenes like Aladdin gets pushed off the balcony and it goes into slow motion. Like I'm watching a Zack Snyder movie. This is a Disney, like, fairy tale, right? What is with dubstep noises? What's with the beatboxing? The original Aladdin has none of these things, and still it's a better movie. Long live the king! I tried watching, like, 10 minutes of it. I honestly couldn't get through it. What I was essentially watching was an exact copy of the animated Lion King, except it looked like a nature documentary. Everything was brown. Lions had no expression. Some of the least emotive animals maybe in the animal kingdom. John Oliver wasn't trying to play a character. He was just doing his own voice. You will answer to Mufasa. All of the voice acting was significantly worse. Why would I pay $15 and go to a theater to watch a movie I already own? Look, here it is, right here. I need to see it realistically rendered? That's not what made the movie good. But whatever, people wanted it. Disney has the resources to do it. I tried watching that Christopher Robin one. <laughs> so I used to like Winnie the Pooh when I was a kid, but this film traumatized me. It completely ruined Winnie the Pooh. Somebody seems to have eaten all the honey. Uh, the Dumbo one. Beauty and the Beast, The Jungle Book, directed by Chef. Pete's Dragon, Cinderella, Maleficent. And they just announced, or did that come out already? Maleficent 2, Curse of the Boogaloo. Uh, here's the live action Snow White. This is a Disney movie, right? Right. Disney now owns Marvel, Fox, Lucasfilm, Pixar, ESPN, Vice, ABC, Hulu. It's this Orwellian nightmare where one company is taking over and in a desperate attempt to pump out as many products as possible, just churn out these live action remakes. 
like it's a toothpaste factory. They know the movie's gonna do well, the story's already done, the hard part is over. All they have to do is plug in the appropriate elements, update it a little bit, and bam, an easy billion dollars. You know, I wasn't gonna get Disney Streaming Plus until I saw that Lady in the Tramp trailer. I was like, wow, that's incredible, man. I can't wait to pay $25 a month to watch that and another Star Wars movie. Or is it a show? Disney's done a great job so far. But whatever, this is nothing new. People have always liked stupid pandering nonsense like this. It's always done well. And they'll remake Aladdin again in 30 years. And they'll get G-Dragon to play the fucking genie.